Hi, my name is Kaushal Bhavsar and today I am going to introduce you to insider threats. So, if you are in cyber security, you must be aware that a threat is any kind of entity that would cause damage to an organization. It can be a person, it can be a program, it can be a process, it can be anything. The threats can be typically divided into two segments. The outsider threats, which are the hackers, attackers or whatever, and the insider threats, which are inside the infrastructure of the organization. Let's look at the formal definition of insider threats. An entity that originates from inside the organization and is threatful is called an insider threat. The advantage of the insider threat is that they have got direct access to the organization's IT infrastructure. Now this can be really dangerous because you have someone in your organization who has the power to do some destructive things and they have got complete access to your IT infrastructure. Let's try to visualize this. Let's look at this typical network diagram where the internal network is in this dotted area. This environment is connected to the external world via this router and then uh, there is this internet cloud. So if someone wants to attack from the outside, they have to go to the internet layer through the router and after that they will be greeted by the firewall or intrusion detection system and if they are able to break into it they would be able to reach either of these systems here however an insider attack happens when there is an insider threat the person is already inside the organization he is working as an employee as a consultant or a vendor but whatever it is he has got access to the IT environment, maybe by using the shared Wi-Fi password or maybe he has got some legitimate access. And in that way, he has got direct access to all of these without even going through this part. So the firewall IDS or whatever network security system you have deployed here is going to be useless. And this itself is a huge challenge and uh, that is why organizations are spending millions of dollars in identifying insider threats. Now let's try to see how the insider threat is going to be different from the regular outsider threat. So when we compare the insider threat with versus the outsider threat the first thing the outsider threat needs to do is they need to break down into the network they need to break into the network right and that's why they need to identify any kind of vulnerability or a flaw or something and they have to exploit that and get into the network all right um the insider threat instead is already inside the network which means uh, if you can imagine it's a typical employee and that person already has uh, the normal login password to access normal login systems and in order to plan the attack probably he might need elevation of privilege to gain administrative access and uh, well to do more dangerous things the outsider threat is uh, blind to the infrastructure he cannot see what is inside that is why they have to make assumptions it's a very creative process uh, you do a lot of ping scanning and uh, um, try to identify what the infrastructure would be like how many systems would be there 
what would be the type of the systems and the operating systems and all and uh, as you know very well that process is not really very accurate so there are chances that uh, you might not be able to get the complete picture here however the insider threat is someone who is inside the organization so they can see everything that is because they are within and you know they can uh, just uh, visually confirm what they are seeing um, another very important point is that the outsider threats as we saw in the earlier uh, diagram they can be intercepted as the intrusion detection level but uh, since these guys they never cross the network and go out it will not trigger the ids alert so basically you are like invisible um the outsider threat is untrusted by default you know because uh, all our systems um they are programmed in such a way that it will not allow you to you know share things publicly um by default all sharing settings and all network settings and everything is uh, blocking external connections all right so that is untrusted by default and uh, they have to the attackers have to find out a way to uncir uh, circumvent this thing however the insider threat is uh, basically already an employee or a consultant or a part of a company in some way so uh, this person is already trusted by default and uh, that is a great advantage because uh, no one is going to suspect them in case there is a real attack or maybe if there is a possibility of an attack um, even the outsider threat has got a very limited social engineering option because uh, the only way you can connect is by uh, probably doing some uh, internet search and finding out how many employees the organization is trying to find out the weakest person and then uh, uh, offering them some kind of bribe etc uh, that that's uh, how it is however since the insider threat is within the organization that person has got direct emotional access to the real people and you see the emotional access it means that these are the people who are sitting together working together having their snacks together and uh, well they are talking about their own life and in that way it is very easy to manipulate people into doing something that they are not doing so even if i am an insider and uh, i do not have certain privilege or certain access i am just able to uh, steal information by manipulating someone else who has got higher access than me and uh, finally the last one which is the silver lining here is that covering tracks is easy uh, well this could be a very relatively debatable topic but uh, as you know the outsider does not have uh, you know much visualization so he is only touching some parts of the system and that's why it is very easy for that person to know uh, what tracks uh, he needs to cover however the insider threat he does not know where else that person is touching because so, since you are inside the organization there are several things that you are going to affect by just uh, one action and it could be your system it could be a co-worker system it could be the network um, uh, something and there are like uh, a billion entry points uh, that would get changed because of that particular action so it is very difficult to cover the tracks for the insider and that is why since uh, this part is very important so hence all insider threat uh, detection tools are basically identifying uh, threats by uh, looking at this uh, tracks you know the evidence that is already present in the systems um, let's have a little brief of the kind of solutions that uh, insider threat um, um, really has so the first solution 
which was very popular in the early 2000s and uh, by the time 2010 started was removable media monitoring because you know everything was usb connected and people could uh, bring in pen drives and take data onto that and this was uh, very successful and this was the first step however uh, as you know nowadays removable media is like i don't know i don't remember when was the last time i used a usb disk so everything is on the cloud and it's on the mail and it's on github and everything like that so um, this uh, protection does not really make much sense right now although it does not mean that it's not required um, it is not sufficient that's what i would say so then organization started uh, going through the second route you have got network traffic monitoring where um, you have uh, some network tap or some kind of port measuring system in which um, all of the network traffic is flowing through a centralized location and it is logged for um, as some kind of monitoring and analysis into the siem and this network traffic monitoring is a very interesting activity and you can reveal a lot because you can get to know whether the person is trying to reach any kind of external file sharing sites or a job site what are the contents of the information they are uploading on email what are the kinds of messages that they are sending over smtp etc um if they are downloading torrent files blah 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 you get to do a lot here however uh, this also has got limitations that uh, if uh, the individual person is using some kind of a vpn personal vpn on the host machine it's going to be very difficult to um, identify what activity is being done so finally it all boils down to the host activity monitoring where uh, typically there's an agent installed on the host machine that would uh, uh, monitor the kind of activity that the person is doing it could be monitoring the applications which have been accessed it could be monitoring the files that have been accessed or uh, even the removable media if they are connected etc and the host activity monitoring is the key so it covers the last end point of uh, the insider threat solution so current systems would actually uh, should have a combination of all these three things um, you have the host activity monitoring network traffic monitoring and removal media monitoring uh, if you have all these three then this is the most effective insider threat solution uh, at least as of now until we get more complex threats so um, that's about it and in this uh, uh, presentation that's um, uh, what I was going to share I was going to share the introduction of the insider threats and uh, that's what we have uh, learned today and I just want to say uh, thanks for watching this video and if you want more information on this topic you can follow me on YouTube Twitter or Facebook at my ID infosecpoi thank you